Hey everybody, this is Paul. And Shannon. And look what we have here today. It's a G.I. Joe Apalooza. Woohoo! Woohoo! G.I. Joe, real American hero. In Palooza form. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, in Palooza form. That's right. These are the G.I. Joe brand new Creo Collection 4, which actually, funny enough, came out after Collection 5. So, um, if you followed any of the G.I. Joe Creo stuff or any of the Creo series uh, for blind bags, they come out with um, 12 different figures in the series. So, let's see who we can get. We can get the Cobra Viper, Night Viper, Cobra Nemesis, Zartan, Air Adventurer, Chuckles, Budo, Tripwire, Wetsuit, Alpine, Airborne, or the Cobra Trooper. Now, one different thing about this blind bag than all the other Creo blind bags ever is their blind bags have these codes on the back of them. And either one of two things happen. Either I have 24 of the exact same figure, <laughs> or they stopped putting different codes on the back of the blind bags to let you know what figure's inside. I kind of hope that they have stopped um, for two reasons. Number one, I don't want 24 of the same figure. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, uh, at least around us, people have gone in and, um, you know, you only need like one Budo or one Alpine, but you need a whole bunch of Cobra Troopers. So it's like you can never find the, the Cobra Trooper, the Vipers, um, or any of just the Troop Builder people. Uh, you always find all the, all the other people. So anyway, uh, we're going to get to opening these. Shannon is going to help me build them. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> um, unlike the Lego minifigures, these come with a lot of parts. you got, you got, you got to build the weapons and the accessories and everything else. And so... Alright, so here was the first one. This is Chuckles. Philip Chuckles Roosevelt. That looks like a pretty simple one. Shannon is going to build him while I open up the next one. Cut the constructions. All right, let's see who we've got here. This is this is Cobra. Oh, Night Viper. Cool. All right, Jan, you know chuckles. <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> that was a bit quick, so I'm going to open this one up for us. So that way, she's ready to go with this one. Yeah, I'm done with this one. If you don't want me to put the little weapons. Do you want to show the weapons separate? Or here. Clean up here. Alright, You don't awesome. want the bases, do you? Yeah, it's okay. I'll, I'll put them on the bases. There we go. Okay, so here's Chuckles. Um, I don't know who Chuckles is in the series. He's obviously a guy who wears a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> he kind of looks like a girl. <laughs> nah, he's not. I think he's like an undercover operative or something. Civilian looking... But there's Chuckles. All right, I'll put him there. All right, so that's our first figure. Shannon is working on the Night Viper for us. That one's gonna take a little bit longer because, um, you know, I, I have always been partial to Legos, and so I've kind of been unfair to Creo and Mega Blocks. But I'm getting over that because um, I'm just beginning to appreciate these guys for what they are. Uh, one of the really cool things about Creo and Mega Blocks is they get some of the licenses that Mega or that Lego won't do. Um, so, like they've got GI Joe, which I love. I love the GI Joe figures. Cobra Viper. This one's awesome. Um, one of the cool things about the Creo thing about the cool uh, the Creo guys is they. All the weapons and accessories, like you build them. Whereas Lego, you would just get a mold, uh, an accessory that's made. Um, so it's always a gun. So like, like this gun, you get, but then you add all these pieces to it to make the scopes and make the other parts of it. Same with this helmet. Yeah, same with this helmet. Look at his helmet there. <laughs> it's like walking around the helmet like that. Okay, so here's the Night Viper. There he is. He looks really cool. I like the printing on him. I think that looks really cool. I like his mask. Tough. I'm gonna end up bunking the lens with that helmet if I get it too close. Oops. I put him on backwards. Okay. So, wow. And finishes up with that one. 
Here's our next person. This, ooh, this is gonna be airborne. All right, so Shannon's gonna build that off camera. It's the magic of teamwork. All right, so this is the Cobra Viper. This is one of the standard Cobra troops, um, one of the cooler ones. And either he comes with a grenade or a coffee mug. It's a grenade. <laughs> That'd be cool. Maybe he works at Starbucks. I don't know. You know. <laughs> That'd be cool. He's a Cobra terrorist bent on world domination and over-caffeinating people. <laughs> All right. So that is the Viper. I love the colors on him. So far, no doubles. We're doing good. And every single one of these bags, like I said, had the exact same code on it. So there is no way to know what, uh, who you're getting inside these bags by feeling them. Especially because, you know, everything comes in bits and pieces. And with this extra plastic bag and this big thing, it's tough to feel any of the accessories. Um, Shannon may be able to do it. She's much better at that than I am. But I simply can't do it. Oh, man. Shannon, that's going to be a fun one to build there. Okay. This is this is wetsuit, by the way, that we just opened up. So still no duplicates. How's it going with airborne? Well, not so good. You can show them on the camera if you want. I cannot get his little goggles to stay on. Okay. The Let's helmet. See if I can. It has like a little indentation. Uh huh. To put them, but. It, it is not working for me. Okay, let's see if I can get it. Maybe, maybe I can, maybe I can't. It keeps popping off when I get it on, so I'm not sure. Okay, so I got it on the helmet. Let's see if I can get it on his head. Oh, sure. Just make it look simple. No, no, it's not simple. Okay. All right. Well, I got it to work. So, okay, so there's Airborne. He's got his gun his little bayonet. He's pretty cool. Airborne was one of my favorite G.I. Joes. Um in the figures. He didn't play a real real big part in the cartoon. But I liked him. He was cool. Um, Spirit kind of kind of became like the big uh, the big cartoon guy. Kind of took his place. Shannon is busy building wetsuit for us, which came in like a million parts. Wetsuit is awesome. He has little flippers. Yeah. Yeah, he's he was uh He's an underwater expert. Um, I believe he he took the place of the original GI Joe Navy SEAL. Right. Okay, so all right, so here's our first duplicate. This is going to be Chuckles again. So we have already built Chuckles right here. So I'm not going to put Shannon through building another one. So I'm just setting that off to the side. And we're going to open up the new wetsuit. When I saw who was in this collection on the back of it, wetsuit was one of the people I was looking forward to the most. Probably the person I was most looking forward to the Wizard hand. Okay, so here is another duplicate for us. This is the Cobra Viper. So I'm gonna set him off to the side too. Let's see if we can find a different person. Now I have 24 packs here. This was not a box. Like I didn't get a box of these. Um, off the shelf, but we got all 24, and they didn't have any more, so I'm assuming that this is the content of a full box. So hopefully that means there's two full sets, but we shall see. This is Cobra Nemesis, if I didn't tell you. Um, this was one of the villains from the G.I. Joe video, G.I. Joe the movie, which was a pretty cool movie. Okay, okay what's it? problems. He was completely built and then fell apart at the hip. Oh no! He's old. Yeah, I was going to say, like an old man. He's having a hard time. He was one of the earlier G.I. Joes. He's like Wave 3 guy. Here, I'm going to let you put that back on this. Okay. Alright, so here's Wetsuit. He is awesome. Okay, so there he is without his helmet. He's got his little scuba uh, propulsion unit thing there. Little spear gun, little flippers. <laughs> <laughs> I like his flippers. Yeah, his flippers are cool. Looks like a little penguin. Alright, so there he is. Now, if you leave his little flippers on, he doesn't doesn't attach to the base, so we're just going to set him back there. Alright, Shannon is busy building Nemesis, so with Nemesis we have one, two, three, four, five, six different people. So we're looking for six more to complete our set. 
Can we do it? Not with this guy, a Night Viper. All right. So, if case distribution holds, we should not see any more of those. I think we've gotten, well, we've almost gotten a duplicate of everybody here that we've opened thus far. Let's see who this guy is. Okay, here's something new. This is Tripwire. Tripwire is one of the original G.I. Joe team from 1983. Uh, this was one of the Wave 1 guys. He was the demolitions expert, or uh, explosive ordnance disposal would be the equivalent title. He's the guy that goes out and searches for landmines and booby traps and things like that. And he comes in a bunch of pieces too. So Shannon's going to have fun with that. I think I've done something wrong with his wings. No, I think you got it right. No, they're supposed to, because they don't, they don't swivel the way like Lego ones would, so they show them kind of standing up and down. Oh, I see. Okay, so maybe like that? So maybe, yeah, you can put it in two different positions. Okay. So he's pretty cool. So this is Cobra Nemesis. He, like I said, he was one of the villains from G.I. Joe the movie, which you can get on VHS or DVD, um, and it's actually a pretty good movie. If you're a G.I. Joe Real American Hero cartoon fan, uh, it, it's a cool movie. I liked it a lot. And, you know, I'm an adult. <laughs> I still like the cartoon. And now you know. And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> there you go. For you G.I. Joe nerds, you know exactly what I'm talking about there. But he won't stand up on his base if he's got his wings on, because they're heavy. So you got to put him in that position. There we go. All right. Five more figures to go if we can find them here. I like the colors on Nemesis. All right, we got another new person. Oh, <laughs> check this guy. Okay, now this is Air Adventure. This is one of like, when I say the original G.I. Joe's, like we're talking back in the 60s and 70s. Um, and he's got fuzzy hair. <laughs> Look at that. That is a crack up. All right, so Shannon's going to build that. That's... Shannon's going to throw trip wire, trip wire out the window. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Trip wire is giving me problems. Okay. Most of the other ones have gone together pretty well, which has been nice. All right. Well, I'll, I'll build the land adventure or the air adventurer. He doesn't look terribly difficult. But that's pretty cool. So you can actually, uh, I think in one of the previous series, they had one of the like the land adventurer guy so if you got all those you could build like the original gi joe team that is so funny he's got fuzzy hair it's got like a little afro thing going on all right his accessories are all right he has this little brick that you would put this sticker on right here which is which would make this look like he's holding a little G.I. Joe box there it is right there that, that's how that would look I'm not going to do that because I am horrible at putting stickers on um, so I'll need to get like a level and a T-square and all kinds of other stuff to line it up properly not doing that on camera you saw the picture, you can just use your imagination and imagine what it would look like and how cool it would be. But um, definitely the fuzzy little head is a cool piece. I wonder if that would fit on Lego. I bet it would. Okay. How'd Tripwire go? You know I have problems getting the accessories in, but they show him holding that, I'm assuming it's like a metal detector, uh -huh. but his arms are like too far apart to hold it. Huh. See the way they show there's, you know, he's holding it with yeah. both hands, but his arms are too far apart. Huh. So I don't get it. No, I don't get it either. I tried to but, push him together hey. and one of his arms popped off. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. That's fine. He works. You can do it one handed because that's the way he rolls. <laughs> All right. So there's Tripwire. He's pretty cool. I like him. I li I've always liked his vest. 
did it again. I put the guy on the base backwards. All right. <laughs> Look at that little fuzzy guy. He's, He's funny. Okay, this is another new guy. This is Budo. He doesn't look terribly. Like he has a whole bunch of parts, so he should be. Okay, I'm gonna move. This is just bothering me with him in back. I'm putting him up front. All right, so now we are down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me put the nemesis back here as well. Nine, so we need three different. Okay, this is another wetsuit. Now, I'll tell you something. Um, you can't tell who, or I can't tell who these figures are by trying to feel the accessories and stuff in the packs. Um, but this one, because of all of its accessories and how many pieces, it, it feels a little bit fuller than some of the other ones do. So, you know, depending on who you're looking for, maybe you can figure that out. Uh, you know, just by just by how full the thing feels. All right, Shannon got. But, oh, Cobra Trooper, first one of these. This is another one of the basic figures, but one of the awesome ones. Look at him. That Udo guy's helmet is amazing. Okay, here we go, Udo, samurai guy. There he is. His helmet is really cool. It has a separate piece, that front piece. Comes okay. off that silver piece. Oh wow! Yeah, and Budo was Budo's a samurai. Um, I'm, I forget exactly who he is. Uh, I know he's on the GI Joe team, and later on in the GI Joe cartoon and uh, figure series and comic books, it's like almost everybody became a ninja. So I guess you need samurais to fight against that. So, so there is Budo. He is really cool looking. Shannon is working on our Cobra Trooper. So with the Cobra Trooper, that's going to make 11 of the 12 figures. We are only looking for Zartan now. Hope we get one. That's Alpine. Hang on. Yeah, this is Alpine. So Alpine is awesome. Alpine was one of my favorite figures from the, uh, from the second wave of G.I. Joe. Just because he came with so many pieces. <laughs> All right, look at the Cobra Trooper. Look at how cool he is. I love the printing on him. His little legs and the web gear on his chest. He's got the big rocket RPG rocket launcher. He is totally cool. All right, so I, for one, am really glad that they did not put the codes on the back of the bag, simply because you would never, ever, ever find one of these guys on the store shelves if people knew what the codes were because people would be buying these by the dozens because you know you need like a hundred of them to fight against gi joe all right shannon is building alpine for us we're still looking for zartan There's alpine. alpine is built but i need to open up something else so we can find zartan this is tripwire Shannon has built her last trip wire, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Zartan! Papa needs a new pair of... Zartan. Zartans. Nemesis! Alright, so far we're getting two of everybody, so this is holding to the, the, the case tradition here. Let's see who this is. This is the Air Adventurer. So got another fuzzy head. Okay, I'll put that over there. Oh, I'm starting to get nervous here. We haven't gotten a Zartan. Although our odds are improving with every pack we open. Odds are ever Udo. Master of disguise. All right, Shannon is going to build him. Um, with that guy. Yes. Alpine. Alpine. I did not try his weapon. Oh yeah. He comes with yeah, a no, little. Yeah, no, totally. Okay. So Alpine. Here was one of the 
Alpine is the mountaineering expert for GI Joe. Um, he was really cool. I like him in the cartoon. So he comes with a grappling hook and a little. Uh, I don't know what this is called in mountaineering, but it's a pickaxe. And just like the action figure Alpine comes with a little rope, which connects his little pickaxe to his grappling hook. So that way he can you know, climb up stuff or rappel up stuff and make a way for the other Joes to climb up. So they don't fall down the mountainside, which is what Cobra would like. That's why, like, every every Cobra base was either in a swamp or on top of some dismal mountain in the cartoon. <laughs> so while Shannon is busy building the second, or our Zar can, I'm just going to open up these last couple of blind bags and, and see if we do get two of everybody. Okay, second Cobra Trooper. Awesome. Look at how awesome. Look at, look at. Here he is. His, um, hood. He's wearing looks like it's an arrow or. Okay, so there's a second Zartan. Now it's almost a Zartan of Palooza. Okay, that is our second airborne. Clean up here, some going. Last but not least, so who have we not gotten two of? I think... I can't remember who we haven't gotten two of. The girly guy. Chuckles? No, I got... We have another one him over there. Oh, Alpine. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so if you're... If you're trying to feel these, um, just so you know, wetsuit, Alpine... And Nemesis feel much fuller. Oh, and trip, and tripwire, tripwire, Nemesis, Alpine, wetsuit. They come with more pieces than everybody else, and bigger pieces, so they feel fuller. So if you're just like, if you feel like a really full pack, it's probably one of those guys. The lightest pack was this guy. And he would be easier to feel because of the, um, this like rubber. I'm just going to show you this rubber piece that connects to his weapon. I think you'd be able to feel that in the package. Maybe, but with him double bagging it, it's probably pretty difficult. So this is Zartan. He was one of my favorite, favorite people from the comic books and uh, and cartoon. I loved him. He comes with one of his disguise heads. It looks like a coffee cup when he holds it like that. Um, you know, He was Cobra's master of disguise, so it's... Oh. <laughs> He wasn't quite that good at disguise. He wasn't a magician. Let's put this other head on. Let's have some fun here. Are you Zartan? Nope. I'm the Air Adventurer. No, you're not. Where's your fuzzy head? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not Zartan. I'm the Air Adventurer. That's funny. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> All right, let me put it back together here. I think it's cool that he came with the uh, with the disguise head. I really wish his face would have been double printed. So you had this face on the front, and because he has the hood that wraps around, you could just turn the face around, and that would be that'd be the other one. Um, I think that would have been cool. But that's just me. My so, favorite figure is Zartan. Um, I love the printing on him. Uh, there's several figures that I really, really like out of this series, and I'm probably going to try and get some more Cobra Troopers, Cobra Vipers, um, and I love Wetsuit. I think he's really cool with his uh, his little accessories and stuff. But Zartan is the figure that I really wanted out of this set. Um, so how about you guys? Uh, are you happy that they don't have the codes on there? Um, if so, why? If, why? if not, why not? And who is your favorite figure? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Bye.